Hello students. So here we are going to see uh, in this particular class, uh, we are going to see uh, a concept. What is the difference between actual beam and conjugate beam? And we will start with the cantilever beam. Okay, how do we analyze that cantilever beam uh, using conjugate beam method? So previous classes we have discussed about uh, simply supported beams. Okay, so here. Uh, let's uh, start with the cantilever beam. So uh, we are going to see what is the relation between an actual beam and the corresponding conjugate beam for different end conditions. Okay. So let's see one by one. So for simply supported okay or roller supported end, deflection is zero but slope exists. The first difference is for simply supported beam for simply supported beam or roller end okay in this deflection is zero deflection is zero but slope is there slope exists this is for actual beam okay but for conjugate beam bending moments for simply supported end okay for simply supported end bending moment is zero Bending moment is zero at ends and shear force is there. Shear force exists. So that is this is the first difference. Second, uh, for free end, okay. If for the actual beam, whatever is the free end, if there is a free end, then in that slope and deflection exist. Okay, so I'm just writing slope. And deflection exist slope and deflection exist but in this case when it becomes a conjugate beam then it becomes free and becomes fixed for fixed end shear force and bending moment exist bending moment exist now for actual beam when it is fixed end for actual beam when it is fixed end slope and deflection are zero okay slope i'm just writing it in a theta and y slope and deflection they are zero okay for fixed end but for free end but for free end for a conjugate beam this shear force and bending moment are zero so the terms you understand So here it is a fixed end, it becomes a free end for a conjugate beam, okay? And if it is a free end, it becomes a fixed end for the conjugate beam. So that we'll see while uh, uh, dealing with the cantilever uh, problem. Now here slope, we can calculate the slope at any section for actual beam. So slope at any section when we want to calculate. So that slope is nothing but it is a shear force at the corresponding section okay shear force at the corresponding section so for a conjugate beam wherever we calculate shear force that is actually actually slope for the particular beam now deflection now for an actual beam if there is a deflection at any section deflection at any section means bending moment here it is bending moment at the corresponding section okay it is bending moment at the corresponding section then there is a sixth difference that is given system of loading now for actual beam whatever given system of loading is there we use it right to calculate bending moment diagram so that is the whatever actual loading is given that we are considering for the calculation but for the conjugate beam the load diagram you know we consider a m by er diagram as a load diagram m by er diagram as a load diagram we consider the seventh number is bending moment diagram it is positive for the actual beam bending moment diagram is positive 
it is saggy this is specially true for the simply supported beam and here m by a diagram is positive m by a diagram is positive and loading is in downward direction so if this is the case if bending moment diagram is positive then m by a diagram is also positive loading is downward okay but if in case if bending moment diagram is negative so mostly cantilever beam we can see because of it is hogging so in this case our loading becomes negative m by a diagram becomes negative so in this case loading is upward okay so for the actual beam these are the differences for the actual beam and the conjugate beam okay for the actual beam whatever beam we are is given and then we convert it into bending moment diagram and again we consider the bending moment diagram is a loading for the next okay conjugate beam so this is the uh, basic difference now let us see what is the deflection and slope of a cantilever when a point load is acting at the free end okay so let us see the deflection and slope of a cantilever with a point load at the free end now in this particular case we can see this uh, let us name the beam let us name label it as a b this is the load w this is our actual beam okay this is the actual beam now for this particular beam it is a cantilever we can see one end is fixed other end is free so it is a cantilever and it is carrying a point load at the free end now for this particular case bending moment is zero at the end b right bending moment will be zero here and bending moment at a what is the bending moment at this point it is nothing but load into perpendicular perpendicular distance suppose the span is l okay so load into perpendicular distance that will be the bending moment here at the end so we can write it as w into l okay load into perpendicular distance so this is the bending moment diagram as shown in figure now the conjugate beam okay this we have done with the bending moment diagram now we have to draw a conjugate beam so the conjugate beam can be drawn by dividing the bending moment at any section by ei so this is our actually conjugate beam and we call it as m by ei diagram okay m by ei nothing but it is a conjugate beam this is our conjugate beam so the conjugate beam can be drawn by dividing the bending moment at any section now let us name the conjugate beam so here it uh, this particular diagram we can see uh, that this end was fixed here okay and this was free but for conjugate b this is fixed so just uh, observe the change carefully okay this is our conjugate b let us name it as b star and let us make it as a star and c star okay and this bending moment will be as it is wl but it is m by ei so wl by ei so the important change okay and loading will be upward direction here so these are all upward direction the bending moment is diagram is negative here okay and our loading is in upward direction so if we can relate with the just uh, theory i, I had uh, referred uh, before coming to this topic okay so this is our conjugate beam uh, diagram so uh, for the cantilever beam so first we draw bending moment and then we convert we convert fixed support into free and free end into fixed support so now let us calculate what is the slope and deflection okay so slope now what is the slope at this particular point okay what is the slope at point b so slope at point b here okay slope at point b for a cantilever beam for a cantilever beam and yb is 
deflection at B for the cantilever wing. Now, according to conjugate beam method, according to conjugate beam method, theta b, theta b is equal to shear force, shear force at b star, shear force at b star for conjugate beam. Shear force at B star for conjugate beam. So, what is the shear force? How do we calculate this? Is a fixed end now. So, shear force is nothing but area of the triangle B star A star C star. Okay. So, it is nothing but total area that is load or area area of triangle that is B star A star and C star. So that is the load we have to consider. What is what is that area of the triangle? Half into A star B star into A star C star. So that is half into L into W L by E I. So theta B is equal to W L square by 2 E I. Now what is the deflection? Deflection is nothing but bending moment, bending moment at B star, bending moment at B star for the conjugate beam, for the conjugate beam is equal to area of this triangle into CG distance, right? Area again, area into CG. For this triangle, CG will be placed over here. So we need to know what is the CG distance. It will be two thir third of the span. Okay. So area of the triangle. Let us write area of the triangle half into L into WL by EI into CG is two third of L. So we are done with the deflection. That is WL cube by three EI. Okay. So. This way we have completed the slope and deflection for a cantilever beam when pointed acting. So what steps you should remember to convert this cantilever beam into conjugate beam. Okay. So we uh, actually the fixed end we may uh, free end we make it as fixed and the uh, fixed end we make it as free. Okay. So student I hope this uh, concept is clear to you and uh, the next class we are going to solve the problem on this based on this concept. Thanks for listening.